For many of us geeks, the original Star Trek series would have been the first time we saw super clever sliding doors. Instead of watching Yerman and Randy and Captain Kirk getting all the sliding action, what if you could have some of the same doors at home? Well, now you can. Some bright sparks in the good old US of A have come up with a sliding door solution that you're bound to love. We have to warn you in advance that destruction is far easier than construction. With that said, you'll be the envy of all of your mates with this. So when you open the tool drawer in the kitchen, what kind of kit will you need to find there to make the Star Trek doors possible? Here's a list. In addition to a one gallon Craftsman air compressor, you'll need to find a 32 inch solid door from B&Q, which you should have cut exactly in half, long ways. Check that you also have a pocket door track, two 16 by three quarter inch bore pneumatic pistons, a five way 12 volt solenoid, and a selection of hose. Finally, you'll need a mallet, a hammer, crowbar, and some sticky back plastic. The exact methodology and a neat little video that shows you what the final result will look like are available from the address shown behind. It might look like you've been hit with a photon torpedo for a while, but the look of anguish on your girl's face will soon be replaced with pride once you're done. Assuming you have a finish. Take a look at the end result. So this is a video showing the Star Trek door that I built in my house. Um, here is the switch that opens the door and there's also a key to hold it open, hold it closed. Up top is the air vent where the air comes out after the door closes. And then over here I built in a control panel where I can disable the door and shut off the air supply. So let's see it in action. This is what you press to open the door. So the door opens and then after a few seconds Give you time to walk through and then it closes. And that's it.